Hi, this is Jack Slocum with Option Alpha. In today's video, we're going to be covering expected value, how you can use it in your trading, and then how to set up a bot that trades automatically based on expected value and a few other metrics within the Option Alpha platform. All right, let's jump right in on expected value. The example I'm going to give actually uses roulette. If you've ever been to a casino, there's that exciting feeling when you walk into a casino. You know that the odds are against you. You know the house has an edge, uh, but you go in there and you try to win anyway. And depending upon which type of wheel you're playing in, uh, if you are lucky enough to have a casino with a single zero, the house's edge is only 2.7%. If we break that down into some simple math, there are a total of 37 numbers on the roulette wheel and 18 of them are black. So for each spin of the roulette wheel, there's an 18 out of 37% chance or 48.65% chance that it's gonna land on black. There's also an equal number of chances that it's gonna land on red. And for a single green wheel, there's a one out of 37 chance that it lands on green. So if we take the probability and we multiply it by the bet that we're making, which is $100, and we add all of those possible outcomes together, we can determine what the expected value is for each and every spin of the roulette wheel. In this case, there's, we lose $48.65 based on Black's probabilities, we lose $2.70 based on Green's probabilities, and we win $48.65 based on the probabilities that it actually lands on the number we bet on, which is red. So if you add all those together, you can see for every spin of the roulette wheel, we actually are losing $2.70 hypothetically based on probabilities, which is equal to the expected value. So the question is, why would any of us play roulette? That's a good question. I personally have played it many times and find it to be really fun. And you can hit some nice streaks where you can win a little bit of money. But the longer that you play, the more likely you are to lose. So if you go in and you spin the wheel one time, there's actually a 49% chance that you're going to be a winner. But as you spin the wheel more and more and more and continue to bet, for example, at 100 spins, you're now 64% likely to be a loser. And at 1,000 spins, you're 81% likely to be a loser. And at 10,000 spins, pretty much going to lose. So those odds catch up over time. So as an options trader, the same thing applies. If we have a small edge when we place one of these trades, for example, the expected value in, is in our favor, we can't expect to win every time. There's only a small chance. We only have a tiny edge that we're going to actually win. And there's a certain element of faith involved, kind of like up there, that says that we have to stick to it over time. So sometimes I might start making trades and 10 trades in, I've lost two or three of them and I'm like, hey, these expected values aren't working out. But if I continue to do it over time, the more and more trades that I make, if I'm making good quality trades where the expected value is in my favor, then long term I should work out to be a winner. And how do we calculate expected value for our positions in, in Option Alpha? Well, the platform does it automatically. But I'll give you a little breakdown of exactly how that works. So if we look at this payoff diagram for a bull put spread, there's a certain percentage chance that it finishes above this max profit number, which is the short strike price. There's also a certain percentage chance that it finishes below the long strike and gets a max loss. But there's all these different prices in between where it could also fall as well. Here's a payoff diagram for a real position that I currently have open. So if you look, it has a $68 max profit and a 72% chance of getting that and a $232 max loss and only a 14% chance of getting that. If you add those values together, it's only 86%, which means there's a 14% chance that it falls somewhere in between those two. And at Option Alpha, what we do is we calculate the probability that it lands at every single one of those prices and what the PL would be at that price. And then we add those together, similar to how we did here, using this math right here, to determine what the expected value is for that particular trade. And the more and more that we make these trades with the odds in our favor and we have faith, then we can assume, just like the casino does, that over time we're going to be a winner. So, what's great about Option Alpha is we don't have to sit there and do that over and over and over again. 
like in a casino, we can set up a bot that'll do it for us automatically. So I come in here into trade ideas and let's say I pick a position here and I personally want to trade positions with a probability of max profit of 55% or higher. So I want the likelihood for me to get that actual max profit to be rigged in my favor. I'm also going to set my uh, reward risk ratio to 100% or higher. I'm going to set my DTE to 7 to 30 days. We found that in our research that any DTE under 7 days, the probabilities really aren't that accurate. And actually, the further out you go, the more accurate they become. Although there is a certain point where you go out really far where they become less accurate again. So we're going to set that to 7 to 30 days. I'm also going to set my out of the money. I don't want to trade any positions that are in the money. Um, and I want them to be a certain percentage out of the money. So there's higher likelihood that they actually finish out of the money. I'm going to go ahead and set that to 2%. And then I'm going to set my alpha to 5% or, or more. So you might be wondering what exactly is alpha and how does it relate with expected value? The gap between the strike prices in a big stock like Nvidia, for example, might be $5. And because the width of the spread is so wide, the expected value will naturally grow as well. But you're risking a significantly greater amount of money, so the expected value can't really be compared with the position that has, for example, a $1 gap. So that's why we came up with the alpha metric. Basically, it takes that expected value number, divides it by the total max loss of the position, and gives you a percentage you can use that's normalized across all different types of positions. So I think I have everything set up here. The other thing that I'm going to use as I create this bot is I want my bot to trade tickers that are uncorrelated. And so I have this list here of uncorrelated ETFs and I'm going to come here. I'm going to click to create a new watch list. I'm going to call that watch list uncorrelated ETFs. I'm going to enter my symbols. All right. So now I have this new uncorrelated ETFs list and the opportunities are filtered by it. You'll see there's some in there. I have everything set up now to trade. I'm going to click auto trade. I'm going to give my bot the name auto ideas ETFs. I'm going to select my trading air account. I'm going to actually give this bot $2,500 of real money to trade. I'm also going to remove the iron butterflies from here. It shouldn't find any anyway, considering the filters that we have, but I still like to remove it. I'm going to set my position size to $500 or less per position. I'm actually going to set up this bot to exit at 40%. And we have some really interesting research that I'm going to be sharing in a future video that explains why I'm using this 40%. And it's actually going to break down the results that all the traders are having in the platform with all of the different exit options by DTE and by position type. I'm really excited to share this with you. It'll be coming in a future video. I'm going to set it up to wait at least one day to avoid pattern day trading. I'm only going to allow it to open two positions at a time, only one position per day. So this way it's not getting into too many positions at once. Only one position per symbol. That's great. Go ahead and stop opening positions if the VIX goes above 35. The rest of these are all great. Um, I'm fine with trading FOMC. I'm also going to set my probability of max loss less than 30%. All right, looks like we're ready to go. And boom, my bot is created. So let's go ahead and come take a look at it. So you can see here it has the tickers right here. If you look at this, the actual automation, it's super simple. All it does is execute a fine trade ideas action based on the settings we just used. That's it. Let's go ahead and close that. I'm going to turn the bot on and it will be ready to trade. So there we have a bot that's gonna be trading in trade ideas based on the settings that we had over here. Similar positions as these, it's gonna monitor this trade ideas database all day, every single day, 
waiting for one of these opportunities that match these criteria to pop up. And as soon as one does, it's going to place the trade, get me into it. And then it's going to manage that trade over its lifetime until it's time to exit. If you watched the last video, in that video, we opened a position, this XOP iron condor sitting right here in the middle. It actually had a few shots to close this position for a winner, but unfortunately they did not get filled. It's still monitoring and anytime it has another opportunity to close for a winner, it's going to take it. So that's it. If you got anything from this video, don't forget to like it. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. On behalf of the OA team, we love you. Thank you for watching and God bless. I'll see you again next time.